Hey there! It's me, in my home, for real. Circus Charlie, from all the biggest stages. And I'm just waiting to get back out there. As soon as they ring, the show's back on the road. Around the world. Might as well have a cup of tea while we wait. Huh? You don't want to see me, Circus Charlie, making ordinary tea. You want a trick tea, huh? You want to see a trick? Look at this. Oh. Hey. You want higher? What? Yes. I could go higher. For the ceiling. You want to see more? Of course. We better have some music though. Hi, Aaron here. I thought you probably needed some extra help because Circus Charlie, or, or as most people know him, Cheesy Charlie, he might be good at showing off, uh, but he's no good at teaching. So he doesn't give you any hints. Uh, and what he's showing you there with uh, tea bag juggling is really one ball juggling. So you might as well start with something that's gonna be a bit more forgiving uh, before you, uh, get caught up with tea bags and breaking cups. But I mean, by all means, give it a go. But it might be easier to find yourself uh, a, a softball or a bean bag, like one of these that you might have from school, or simply a rolled up sports sock. Something that isn't going to bounce away from you and is quite easy to catch. So this is as good as anything to learn juggling and one ball juggling. So everything that Cheesy Charlie showed you, you can try with your sock and catching rather than a cup. All right. So very simply, uh, my top tip for his tricks like under the leg or behind the back is that you concentrate on throwing upwards so that you've got plenty of time to catch. So you're bringing your leg up put your hand under and you throw up and you catch it. And you can catch with two hands as well as a starter. And behind the back, which is tricky, you reach behind your back, but you don't think about throwing it forward, you just think about throwing it up, up your back, and it actually travels forward anyway, and you can catch it. Remember, you can practice with two hands as well first. All right, so all those tricks with the tea bags, you can try it with a rolled up sports sock. And then you probably have more than one rolled up or sock, believe it or not, or not. So if you can get three, you could start thinking about juggling three, which is a, another step up altogether. But here's a different one to try. It's the same pattern as juggling with three, the cascade pattern, but you're going to try it on the table or on the floor. And you always start with two in one hand and one in the other hand. And what you do is you pass the first one from the hand with two across the table, across the floor, and you drop the other one over it. You're always going either hand, left, right, left, right, left, right, yeah? So let's just see. So it goes across and you're alternating hands. And there's only one sock or ball rolling across at any one time. So you start with the two hands and you go left to right then over the top drop and pick drop and pick and you can go as fast or slow as you like you can actually just place them to get the pattern 
and then you can go wider and you can get them to roll. Okay, give that a go. Now it isn't it simple, these things need practice. And just to prove that, here's what Charlie went through to get what he showed you earlier. Enjoy the bloopers. <laughs> 